The ongoing SADC meeting of ministers in Lusaka has been overshadowed by the arrest of prominent Zimbabwean activist and blogger, Pardon Gambekwi, known for his one-man band style of protest and commentary. The incident has sparked concerns about the freedom of expression and the treatment of dissenting voices in the region. Gambekwi, a familiar vlogger in Zimbabwe's political landscape, was filming in Lusaka near the conference area of the SADC meeting when he was approached by three officers who ordered him to stop. Despite his attempts to comply with their instructions, his camera was swiftly switched off and he was whisked away in a scene that unfolded live on camera. A pale-faced Gambekwi was filming live when three officers walked up to him and ordered him to stop filming at the Mulangushi conference premises. The Zaimai reported, his camera was swiftly switched off after officers noticed he was not following their directions. The arrest comes at a time when a group of protesting Zimbabweans, including a Chamisa leader for South Africa Trust, Nlovu, and local leader Peter Maposa, successfully delivered a petition to SADC officials. The group was granted a meeting with SADC leadership, highlighting a contrast in the treatment of different voices at the conference. It was a different ball game for Gambekwi, who was playing solo and somewhat in the wrong place at the wrong time when he was whisked away by officers on live camera, added Zaimai. The incident raises questions about the level of tolerance for dissent within SADC member states, particularly in the context of the ongoing political and economic challenges facing Zimbabwe. Gambekwi's arrest comes just days after he made public statements critical of the police and the nation's leadership which may have fallen under public order laws. At around 8 p.m., he briefly told Zimai he was still in police custody. Reported as Zimai correspondent, he suggested to Zimai that he has been charged with criminal trespass. The arrest has been met with widespread condemnation from civil society organizations and human rights activists, who view it as a blatant attempt to silence dissenting voices.